Hi, my name is Wayne from Sears Parts Direct. We're going to talk about the vertical modular washer machine today. This washer is made by Kenmore, Whirlpool, and Maytag. When a vertical modular washer runs into a problem, the washer stops and the lid lock light will start flashing and flashing and flashing and keep flashing until you fix the problem. With the lid lock light flashing, what are you going to do? Go out and buy a new lid lock switch? Before you do that, realize the lid lock light will flash for any and all problems this machine has. Before you run out and buy a lid lock, run the diagnostics test and recall the saved error code that indicates the real cause of the problem. Here's a video that shows how to display those saved error codes. Well, if your error code says you have a bad lid lock switch, then replace it. Here's a link to a video showing you how. But chances are the lid lock's not the problem. This washer doesn't fail that often. But when it does, it's generally the actuator motor. What's the actuator motor, you ask? It's this little motor at the bottom of the washer. Fortunately, the actuator is really easy to get to. Here's a link to show you how. I hope this video helps you out today. With the washer shut off and the basket empty, no water or clothes, and the lid closed, enter the diagnostic mode. Turn the control dial one complete rotation, 360 degrees, counterclockwise. Quickly, within about six seconds, turn the control dial three clicks clockwise, one click back, and one click more clockwise. All the green status lights blink when you successfully activate the diagnostic mode. If the status lights don't blink, turn the control dial one complete rotation counterclockwise to reset the control and then try again, this time turning the knob faster. In the diagnostic mode, select the calibration cycle by turning the control dial four clicks clockwise. When the rinse light turns on, press start and begin the calibration cycle, which runs for two to three minutes. When the calibration cycle ends, the lid unlocks and the washer shuts off. How to display error codes on Kenmore and Whirlpool vertical modular washers. Kenmore and Whirlpool replaced the common direct drive top load washer with the vertical modular top load washer in 2012. The vertical modular washer, VMW, has a self-diagnostic system in the electronic control to help you figure out the cause if something goes wrong with the washer. When a component in the washer fails, the washer stops working and the lid lock light flashes. The washer won't work until the problem is corrected. To determine the problem, first put the washer into diagnostic mode. Here's how. With the washer shut off and all indicator lights off, turn the control dial one complete rotation, 360 degrees, counterclockwise. Quickly, within about six seconds, turn the control dial three clicks clockwise, one click back, and one more click clockwise. All the green status lights blink when you successfully activate the diagnostic mode. If the status lights don't blink, turn the control dial one complete rotation counterclockwise to reset the control and then try again, this time turning the knob faster. With the washer in diagnostic mode, follow these steps to display the error code lights. Turn the control dial one click clockwise. Press the start button. Turn the control dial one click clockwise to display the first saved error code. The control displays up to four error codes. Just the sensing light flashes if no error code was recorded. Error codes for the VMW washers have two parts. The first is the letter F followed by a number, and the second is the letter E followed by a number. Which lights are illuminated indicate the numbers. The sensing light on indicates the letter F. The sensing light off indicates E. The wash light stands for the number eight. Rinse, 4, spin, 2, and cycle complete, 1. For example, for error code F5E3, when the sensing light is on, the rinse and the cycle complete lights are on. This makes 5. Then, when the sensing light is off, the spin and the cycle complete lights are on. This makes 3. The error code flashes repeatedly until you turn the dial one click clockwise to show the next error code. To exit diagnostic mode, turn the washer off.